We're back with another video, man. I'm waiting on this Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather with a press conference to kick off. It's a whole bunch of uh, commentating going between uh, who was Brandon Schaub, Brian Custer, and Pauly. And uh, I had one of my homies, um, you know, ask me on the book, um, you know, you know, why is being flat-footed in boxing? You know, what's the issue with it? What you know, what happens? You know, why is it so bad? Basically, what he was asking. And this your boy CJ Goodfellow with the boxing clinic. Shout out to the LDBC. And, you know, flat-footed don't mean that, um, you know, your arches and nothing like that in boxing terms. Nothing like that to do with your, you know, physical uh, creation of your feet, you know. Basically means that um, you flat, you flat, you know. You, you're not on the balls of your, your toes, you know. They say in boxing terms, you know, your front foot is flat and your back foot, like he got, is on, your balls of your, uh, on the balls of your uh, feet, you know. That's the position that you want to usually be in. Now, it, dep it, it, it depends on what type of boxer that you are, truly, you know. Um, if you, I mean, it, it really depends, you know, but you want to have some type of footwork. And we were talking about Adrian Broner. Now, if you watch Adrian Broner, you know, he was asking about Adrian Broner in particular. You see, he can't, he can't move in a boxing ring. Like, it's totally flat. You know, even when he tries to get on his balls, his feet, it doesn't look natural. It doesn't look smooth. It doesn't look comfortable. He doesn't look fluid doing it. And the issue happens that is you can't get the angles you want. And, and then you see in the Paulie fight, he wasn't able to, you know, keep up with Paulie's footwork and cut off the ring as well. You know, look at Triple G. You know, people would think Triple G is this flat-footed guy. He's big and slow, but check out the footwork. His footwork is very well, you know. And being flat-footed can mess up your footwork in the sport of boxing. But it's things you can do to make up for it, though. You know, James Tony was kind of a plotter, you know. You know, could move his feet better than Adrian, though, and Canelo Alvarez. But he made up for it with being offensive and moving his upper body. And same thing with Canelo, very flat. You know, when he moves, it doesn't look com he doesn't look comfortable, just the same as Broner. He can't move on his balls and his feet. He's totally flat. But the difference is between him and Adrian is Canelo makes up for it. You know, he does things. You know, when he when he, he lost to Floyd, when he fought Lara, you know, he knew he couldn't keep up with Lara and his foot speed and cutting the ring off because he's not on the balls of his toes. So somebody on the balls of their toes moving around at the speed of light, like lightning like, like Lara, so how are you going to catch up with them flat-footed when you already, you know, got leg feet? Your, your legs and feet ain't faster than his from the beginning, so you had a disadvantage. But what Canelo did was he knew Arizona Laura slid out the back door the same way, and he threw a hook where Laura was sliding out the back door. And he threw that hook to the liver, to the side. And it slowed Laura down and made Laura stationary and made Laura, you know, have to fight. And that's when Lara started chose to be more off defensive minded when he was more stationary and Canelo was able to work and catch back up in that fight. And that's the issue with Adrian Broner. That's why he gets out work. You know, he wasn't he wasn't able, excuse me, to get away from Madonna. He tried to come in there and box and move and, and try to show he had boxing skills. You ever so watch a movie, it's horrible. He don't have no feet. So that's why Madonna was able to chase him down without even having to technically equal off the ring by the book. He was able to, to, to beat Broner ass from ring post to ring post. Then Broner figured out in his mind that wasn't the right attack. They didn't, plan A wasn't it. So he started to sit in the pocket with, with Madonna and press Madonna so Br Madonna wouldn't press him back because he couldn't move. And that's just the detriment of having flat feet. You can make up for it, but it does affect the, the foot the footwork as well. You know, that's the issue with it. That's why he wasn't able to cut the ring out on Paulie. That's why he had some issues with Ponce de Leon. Gavin Cabbage Reese as well, the the volume output. You know he's not good at at offensive all, at really at all, especially offense to defense. Like Paulie said, he can't do it. You know he can't, you know he can't catch and shoot like Danny Garcia. I mean, pick the punch off and return with the same hand. You know he can't counter punch as well if you watch. You can get your punches off with Adrian Broner. You gotta worry about him punching you. He want to get you way on the back end, which is not a counter punch no more. He want to wait till you do your work, and then he want to get his work off. But it's not in the counter punch time frame. So, pretty much that's the that's the issue with being flat footed. Just a quick uh, video on it. We gone.